What's up, polished friends? Nailtopia has 22 new trending shades being released July 26th, and they generously sent me all 22, so I can share them with you. 22 is a lot of polishes, so I've split them up in a total of three videos. Keep watching, I'll show you. Nailtopia is easily one of my favorite brands. If you don't already know, they're vegan, all free, but most importantly to me, they're cruelty free. I won't back a brand that isn't. And interestingly enough, get this, most nail polishes are 10% biosourced, but Nailtopia is 85% biosourced with fruits and veggies. But don't eat it, it's not for eating. Learn more at Nailtopia.com and watch my Nailtopia playlist to see more Nailtopia shades and products. Before we jump into the exciting new shades, Nailtopia has a few changes I want to make you aware of. Let's start with their cap. No more silver because their white cap is biodegradable. So when there's an empty, we can recycle our tops now. How cool is that? I really like that Nailtopia is thinking of the environment and doing their part. Also, Nailtopia has a new brush. To be honest, I love their brush. It's wide and easy to use, causing for minimal cleanup, and the new brush is even easier to use, even with my short nails. You'll see, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's get into the shades. I've broken them up into three videos, so be sure to watch parts two and three so you don't miss any of the new shades. The shades in this video were paired by me and include a really fun and delicate glitter, but more on that later. I paired these particular shades together because I thought they were super dreamy and well, they just complemented each other really well. So without further ado, let me introduce you. We have Nails and Tiaras, Cake It Easy, I love all these names by the way, What the Health, Self Care, Nailers Not, She's Iconic, Love That For You, and Totally. It can't be easy coming up with names for polishes, especially when there's 22 at one time, but I love all of these names and I like that some of them have to do with health. What are some things you do to keep mentally healthy besides having a nail hobby? Share with me in the comments. For all of my swatches, I'll be swatching over Nailtopia's base coat, which I love. I can wear it over one of their nail treatments and easily get over seven days wear. I won't be using a top coat in my swatch photos because these polishes really shine on their own. First up is Nails and Tiaras, a spot on rose gold metallic and if you don't know, rose gold is one of my favorite colors so I'm super picky with rose gold polishes but Nailtopia did so well with this shade. It's delicate yet strong and goes on on that first coat very easily as most metallics can be kind of streaky, so I didn't find that this one was. I get great opacity on that second coat and I'm really pleased with this. We're kind of off to a great start. Here's two coats of nails and tiaras without a top coat. Here's nails and tiaras next to liquid gold on the left and dream big in the middle just as a comparison to two of Nailtopia's gold shades, which I also highly recommend these shades, especially if you're looking for that gold or copper to use in nail art. Next is Cake It Easy, which is a delicate baby pink with flecks of gold, and I'll be honest, I was pretty skeptical at how opaque this shade would be, but on that first coat, I have more opacity than I was expecting. And then on the second coat, the opacity really builds nicely, so I am truly pleasantly surprised. Here's two coats of Cake It Easy without a top coat, and it's just such a pretty color, I really think it'll complement most outfits. What the Health is next, and that might be my favorite name out of the bunch. As you can see, this is a baby blue with gold flecks, and as you might have already guessed, it has the same consistency and opacity as Cake It Easy, building nicely on that second coat. This is also going to look great with so many outfits.
Here's two coats of Wet the Health without a top coat. Moving on to self-care, and I want to call this a periwinkle, but I'm kind of doubting myself. What do you think? Is this a true periwinkle? Let me know in the comments. Either way, it has the consistent Nailtopia formula that I look forward to. It's creamy, it's self-leveling, it's this perfectness of polish that could be opaque on that first coat on my short nails, but as I've said time and time again, I prefer two thin coats rather than one thicker coat so that the polish lasts longer. So there's that second coat where we reach full opacity. And that's two coats of self-care without a top coat. Nailer's Knot is next, which is a great sailor's reference for this just gorgeous blue. If you're looking for that perfect true blue, this is it. The polish just glides onto my nail perfectly and notice how clean these swatches are, which means these polishes make for a super easy manicure, especially if you're in a hurry or don't like spending a lot of time on your mani or cleanup. These are a real time saver. I've got opacity on that second coat and here's two coats of Nailer's Knot without a top coat. If you enjoy pink, you are going to love She's Iconic. I get so excited when I see bright pinks like this one, but then I always forget to wear them. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Well, if I do remember to wear She's Iconic, she has the perfect Nailtopia formula, just like Nailer's Knot. The shade could really be opaque in one easy coat, but it builds nicely for me on that second coat. Here's two coats of She's Iconic without a top coat. Okay, this one reminds me of the show Schitt's Creek. It's called Love That For You, but that reminds me of the character Alexis when she says, I love this journey for me. So I automatically love this one right off the bat. Love That For You is a beautiful creme teal that I wore a couple weeks ago to work as a pop of color with a white, gray, and black ensemble. It looked really cool. Neltopia's creme formulas are extremely consistent with one another, so there's not a lot for me to say that hasn't been said already, but the more I use the new brush, the more I really like it. Here's two coats of Love That For You without a top coat. Okay, lastly is Totally. Now, this shade is super fun, super pretty, but it's more of a glitter. Not the type of glitter that takes a chainsaw to remove, so don't worry. It was actually really easy for me to remove. Totally is made up of fuchsia and bluish purple small glitters and could be opaque if you sponge it on, but it looks super pretty, slightly translucent in two coats. Me personally, I am not going to Polish Mountain to build this up and try to make it opaque. That's just not my thing. I would rather just appreciate it for the ethereal glitter it is and maybe even wear it as a topper over black or white polish or like another complementary color. So here's two coats of Totally without a top coat and see how pretty it is? It's not opaque, but it really doesn't need to be. All right, so that's the first eight shades of Nailtopia's 22 new trending shades available July 26th at select Walgreens, Belk, or Ulta stores, or always at Nailtopia.com. Give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, and remember to hit the bell to get notifications. Part two and three are ready and waiting for you with the other 14 shades, so I'll see you there.